Okay, I'm back, and this time I have an unboxing of the Series 10 Apple Watch. I got mine in the uh, polished titanium gold variant. Uh, this came with the sport band because I ordered a, a pre pre-made configuration on Amazon. You can either get it with a sport band, I think it's the starlight color, or with the metal link that matches the gold. But um, the real color that I'm looking forward to is the gold link bracelet because I think that watch looks beautiful. So uh, this year, the gold looks like uh, it might be a little bit warmer than the previous gold. I did last have the Series 10 in the stainless steel gold. Uh, sorry, not the Series 10, the Series 7. And that one was kind of a cool yellowish kind of gold. So I'm looking forward to seeing if the new gold is a little bit warmer in hue because I like that. So uh, this is what you get in the packaging. Of course, you have this little uh, origami or accordion kind of outer packaging with the Apple Watch logo. We'll set this to the side. So here is the image of the Series 10 with one of the new watch faces. And like I said, I use a small medium uh, size sport band and this is in the starlight so we'll unpack that in a second as well so as usual we have some pull tabs let me peel that away so I did upgrade from the series 7 to the series 10 I no longer have the series 7 over here to compare it to uh, because I sold it in advance of receiving this uh, but I thought that Apple made some uh, nice little changes you know it wasn't a big redesign oh and just on first impression, uh, let me interrupt myself, this feels very light compared to the stainless steel that I had before. And I am also wearing the Apple Watch Ultra here. So as you can see, my wrist is not that big. I think the Apple Watch Ultra is probably as big as I can go. The camera might exaggerate a little bit, but I think my wrist might be like 172 millimeters or something like that, last I measured. So I do wear the small, medium-sized bands for all of the watches. So anyway, the first impression, just picking it up, is that it is very light. So let me get it out of this little paper sleeve. And I did get the 46 millimeter size. So I'll put that on my wrist in a second to compare. But here you can see against the Ultra how much thinner the casing is. Um, I do like the Ultra. The Apple Watch Ultra has a nice rugged look, but the thickness of it and the size of it sometimes is a little uh, cumbersome. And I find with the polished Apple Watches that it can kind of fit into more wardrobes and I can wear it with collared shirts a little bit easier, shirts that have a cuff. So it looks a little bit dressier. So first impression, um, here it is. It does seem thin. And yeah, I am actually happy with the color. It is not that cold, I'll say. There's kind of a warmth to it. Um, I think it might actually match pretty closely the kind of copperish gold of the new Desert Titanium. I can't show that right now because I'm actually recording with that uh, iPhone, but... Maybe I'll try to do a comparison there, but yeah, I do immediately notice the weight compared to the Series 7. It is very light and even the Ultra that I have. So moving on to what's in the rest of the packaging, we have our little sleeve with the magnetic charging puck, USB-C. So that's one of the other upgrades that I'm looking forward to. It's supposed to have faster charging. So that's one of the things I miss whenever I switch back from the Ultra to the Series 7 that I had previously. The Ultra battery life, typically I charge it every two days, maybe up to three days. Um, and that's it actually uh, in the packaging. Just one single piece of paper over here with the warranty information. Fairly simple packaging. But uh, as I was saying, the battery life on the Ultra is really great. And on my Series 7... I would get maybe about 24 hours. When, when it was new and the battery health was 100%, after 24 hours, I'd have about maybe 30% battery life. Comfortable battery life that I can stick it on the charge um, and be booted up and charged up to go about, my, the, go, go about the next day. Um, but towards the end of having the Series 7, the battery health was down to, I want to say, maybe like 84%. And then I found after 24 hours, the battery life was getting to like 10% or 5% and it was in the red. So it was more of like a concern. So here I have some straps that I will try with this. Oh, actually, before I try these other straps, let's just quickly take a look at what the Starlight band looks like. 
I don't really intend to use this band at all, actually, because I am looking forward to the Link bracelet, which unfortunately right now is not available, but we'll take a look at what the Starlight looks like on the gold for anyone interested. So this band looks kind of like an off-white band, and I'll go ahead and put it on my left wrist. Yeah, that's what it looks like on my kind of slender wrist and on my skin tone. So this year I was kind of considering the natural titanium. Um, in Apple's press images, the natural titanium looked almost kind of like um, a dark gunmetal kind of um, finish. It kind of, you know, in the press images, it kind of looked like the, um, what was the color with the 13 Pro? It was like graphite. It kind of looked like that color, but uh, from what I've seen in other people's YouTube videos, that it's more like a silver. So because of that, um, I decided to try the gold because I prefer the warmer tones over the cool tone. So that's what it looks like with the Starlight Band. Pretty nice. Let me switch it out to some of the other bands that I have. I have a Midnight Leather Band. Another band that I was interested in getting actually is the Fine Woven Magnetic Link in the Dark Taupe. I think that color will go well with the gold watch as well. See if I can get that on. That's what it looks like with the Midnight Leather Band. That's pretty clean. Uh, my first impression with it on the wrist is that, yeah, I can tell that it the weight is lighter. The slimmer profile is pretty nice too. And here side by side, you can see how thick the Ultra is. Can't really get it fully side by side. But you can see how much it sticks out above the wrist. And this is just a much cleaner aesthetic, in my opinion. That is nice with the Midnight. And I just have two more bands that I'll put on. I have a brown leather link. I think is one of the original saddle brown. Usually this goes well with gold, brown and gold. That's how it looks there. Very nice. And lastly, I do have a sport band. I have some other bands as well. Some of the uh, Velcro sport loops, I think they were called. Uh, but I didn't bring all of those out. So here it is with a black uh, sport band. And yeah, the 46 millimeter casing, I think is probably as big as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> any bigger than that and it might start looking a little comical the camera of course uh, might uh, the lens of the camera might change the pers uh, perspective of what the watch looks like but you can see the the ultra is quite big but the battery life is is great on that uh, so that's what it looks like with the black sport band all right so that was just a quick unboxing and first impressions i will set this up uh, but so far Initially, I think it looks really nice. Um, and like I said, from the press images, from what I've seen in other hands-on videos, with the right bracelet, I think with that link bracelet, it looks like a very classy, clean watch. So I hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.